We're talking hurricanes and people are already, you know, blown up about this. Do I have to worry? Do I have to worry? Really, they form close to the coast, so this time of year they could pop up quick and make landfall quickly. That's right. They are fairly rare when they do occur, but they are close to land when they form, and that means that they, most of them that do form hit land somewhere, usually Central America. All right, let's see exactly where that happens. Okay, let's look at the uh, tropical development areas here, and when we do that, we see that basically they're in the Western Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico, and off the East Coast of the United States. The, the question is then why? Why do they form there? That's the real question. Let's go to this other source, and I'll show you exactly why all of them are over here. First of all, we have this trough of low pressure in the eastern Pacific, and sometimes it lifts up and dangles into the Caribbean Sea, forms a little low pressure center there, and then that low pressure center will lift up and fester into a tropical depression or tropical storm and then go up and affect the Gulf of Mexico, Florida, or Cuba. That's one of the sources. The other two sources in June, that's the monsoon trough source. The other source is a frontal boundary that can drop south, or an upper level low pressure system that can burrow down to the surface and form a low pressure. We've already seen this one with our first tropical depression that then moved up the east coast and out to sea. So the question now is what's going to happen over the next few days and what's out there? Let's talk about what's out there tonight. Dr. Lyons, you got your eye on anything? Well, if you're heading toward the Azores, we've had a very potent low pressure system up there. This is almost like a subtropical storm. The winds around the eastern side, we just got a sa satellite pass indicating winds of about 40 to 45 miles per hour. So if you're in the Azores, expect 20 to 30 mile per hour winds tonight and waves about 12 to 18 feet. Some of those waves are going to affect uh, Europe, but for the most part, this is going to go to the north and the storm system itself will not affect Europe. The rest of the Atlantic is quiet.